Hi, I'm Craig, and today I made a workbench completely made out of 2x4s. Let me show you how. I started with the top of the workbench. I wanted it as flat as possible, so I picked out the straightest 2x4s I had. A little side note, a planer could have helped with the flatness, but I don't have one. The total width of the workbench is going to be 6 feet with a border, so I marked and cut these boards to 69 inches. After I cut the boards, I picked the best looking side of each and I faced it up. Next I took each board and flipped them over so the ugly side would be up for me to start drilling pocket holes. I love pocket holes and my goal for this project was to exclusively use them. I drilled two holes for each board on each side. The border will consist of four separate 2x4s that are cut in half long ways. There will be two long halves and two short halves. Accounting for the 8th inch blade of the table saw, each half will measure about 1 and 11 16th inch wide. The short pieces will be about 24 inches long and the long ones will be 72 inches long. I'll be making a 45 degree cut on each end in the next step. I clamped the six boards that make up the top of the bench to make sure they're nice and snug. Then I took one of the shorter halflings and centered it to the six boards and marked it where I need to cut the 45 degree angle. I did the same thing for the other short one and the same thing for the two long ones. I don't know about you, but I always have a hard time getting the 45 degree edges to line up perfectly. Oh well, something to work on. I roughly placed the border to see how the pieces fit together, and it turned out okay. If I were to do this bench again, I'd try to do a better job with the corners. Like I said before, I love pocket holes. I tend to stay away from any kind of glue or goop, so I decided to use pocket holes to join these pieces together. I alternated where the holes should be on each board, so I ended up with three holes on one board, two holes on the next, then three on the next, and so on. I also added holes on the two outside boards in order to screw into the border. I cleaned up the area of sawdust and other junk so I could lay my boards flat as possible. Then I laid the boards in the order I drilled them to make sure I kept the holes in the right spots. Using one of the short border pieces, I screwed down one of the end boards. Make sure to get this piece straight and aligned with the border because it will be the cornerstone for the remaining boards. You can use a clamp to make sure everything is nice and tight as you go along. I clamped down the whole damn thing and screwed together all the pieces, while killing my knees in the process. Wear knee pads or use a bench. Ugh. It's time to attach the two longer border pieces. Clamp it down and use the pocket holes that were drilled earlier. Do the same thing for the other side. Make sure the 45 degree angles line up with the shorter end. I ended up adding some more pocket holes to the outside boards to attach to the long border pieces, just for more stability. And finally screw down the remaining border piece. At least one or two of the boards were an eighth inch short, so there are some gaps. A jointer could alleviate this issue, or you could just sand the crap out of it. Overall I'm pretty happy with the top and it's really sturdy. Here I'm cutting the four legs. They will be 34 and a half inches long. Each leg is getting three pocket holes on one side only. You know, because three is better than two. I 
Attach two of the legs making sure that they sit flush on the sides and the front of the bench. Excuse the blurry shot here, but you get the gist of it. I'm not too keen on my woodworking terms, but I think this piece might be called a skirt. So I marked the skirt to fit between the two legs. It was a pretty snug fit, so I needed to get out my persuasion tool. I'll spare you the pocket hole shots, but I drilled two holes on each side of the board. I then clamped it down in a few places to make sure it didn't go anywhere. Then I screwed it down. I moved on to the other legs and repeated the process I just did. Measure the skirt, cut the skirt, drill the skirt, clamp it, screw it. I used some clamps here to make sure the legs were square with the top of the bench. Then I measured the mini skirt. This mini skirt fit nice. Make sure this mini skirt fits flush with the edge of the bench. I drilled two pocket holes per side and then screwed them in. I double checked to see if everything was square and it turned out to be pretty good. Do the same exact thing we just did, but for the other end of the bench. It's time to make the bottom leg supports. I started by making the small ones, which are just counterparts to the ones we just installed. Make sure everything is flush since this part will be in contact with the floor. Once I was happy with it, I made the pocket holes and I screwed it in. Same deal with the other side. The final piece to this puzzle is the long foot piece. It's basically the same steps as the two smaller ones, just longer. I used some clamps to hold the piece in place. Clamps are so useful, they're like duct tape's first cousin. I did some sanding on the bottom and the legs of the bench just to smooth out some rough spots. It was more important to sand the top of the bench, so I spent quite some time on this. There were some uneven spots I wanted to work out, and I wanted to give it a nice finish for the stain I want to use. I used tongue oil to give the bench a finished look. At the end of the day, this is a workbench, and it'll get beat up over time, so it wasn't too important. I coated the entire bench and let it dry for 24 hours. This stuff puts off quite the smell, so do it in a vented area. Thanks for watching. The workbench turned out pretty nice for what I wanted to use it for. I try to take a minimalist approach to most things and making a bench out completely out of two by fours and a couple screws seemed right up my alley. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm kind of excited to see what you guys can come up with. Check out my website for more stuff that I'm making and you can follow me on social media to see more of the shenanigans that I'm doing in real time. Until next time, thanks!